It's a controversial issue because Peter Honka essentially denies the genocide and the mass atrocities that occurred in Bosnia. And, you know, the reason that I became involved in reporting on this controversy is because 25 years ago I was reporting on the war in Bosnia, reporting on all the atrocities, reporting on the death camps, and I saw all of these things that did happen, that until this announcement of Peter Honka winning the Nobel Prize, everybody had accepted it as true and said it. But since he has himself denied it, thrown doubt on it, now all of a sudden all of these questions are being asked once again. Genocide denial operates in really interesting ways. I mean, you can deny a genocide straight out. You can say, oh, the Holocaust did not happen. There were not millions and millions of Jews killed. You could say there was nobody killed in Srebrenica, but that would be utterly ridiculous and utterly unsuccessful. And so the way that genocide denial tends to operate and tends to operate more successfully is for people to throw doubt on it, to say, well, how could it have happened? And maybe there was something that provoked this genocide or provoked this violence. Maybe the victims were to blame. Maybe the media exaggerated things. Something happened. But but it's been exaggerated, who can really tell? And when you throw that much doubt out into the air, what you are doing is you are undermining the truth, and Hanka does that, and he does it intentionally, and that's what these people do intentionally.